What's up everybody? This is your favorite homeboy and today we're in the Poconos and I got my friend Robert Lee, the general, with me. Uh, we just met yesterday, right? Yeah, and we had, yesterday. We had a great time yeah. talking about short-term rentals, our favorite <laughs> topic. And the weather's beautiful here. It's actually really hot. It's gonna be like almost 90 degrees, right? Yeah. You're supposed to keep the pan above the waist because uh, <laughs> those are my swimming shorts. Uh, but anyways, Robert, uh, you got your family over here. Introduce them to me. Uh, Angela, my wife. Hello. Emmy, that's uh, my sister-in-law, and Andrew, my brother-in-law, and best friend. Awesome, awesome. And uh, we had a really good time at our house, the Khaki Campbell, which uh, you can book here. I think left hand side, I always mix it up. So one of these corners here, you could book the Khaki Campbell, but we're staying there right now. We had a really good time talking about the Poconos and short term rental regulations and pros and cons and all that types of things. Uh, but today we're here to talk about your house sure. that you guys just bought. Uh, how many months ago was that? Uh, about uh, two, two and a half, two and a half months, two months. Yeah. Okay. We, we actually purchased this, this beautiful house here and we're in currently uh, getting it ready to be rented out. Uh, a lot of work, but uh, we started out. I'm, and, and I'm really excited because how did we meet? I, I mean, we just met like may, maybe what, nine months ago or something, or was it longer than that? Well, I actually um, found a uh, YouTube video from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and because we are in the search of uh, a new house that we want to purchase in Pocono. And I, I was looking at his video and I saw this kid that I know, our mutual friend's kid, Jordan. I'm like, that's Jordan. Jordan's YouTube famous. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we get connected to, um, with Edward through a mutual friend of ours, John. Awesome. Yeah. And then a couple months later, here we are. You got a house. Yes. And so today I'm really excited because we're going to go through it and you're just going to tell me your vision for each room sure. and hopefully we can get this house online by the ski season. Uh, and then you'll want to watch this video and stick around towards the end. We're going to talk about numbers. If you are new to the Poconos area, you want to invest here or if uh, just short term rental in general and you want to learn from us, then please subscribe to this video and watch till the end. All right, so let's go through the house and let's show them what you got. Sure. So know. the house is where we bought it is a four bedroom. It's about uh, usable space, 27, 2800 square feet. And then there's another 1200 square feet in the basement uh, that has to be furnished for us and done. Okay. Okay. How many uh, bedrooms and baths and about uh, the occupancy? Four, four bedrooms and uh, two and a half baths, but we're changing into five bedrooms and uh, two cool. and a half baths. So it's going to fit now with the new rules here. Yeah. Uh, 14. 14. Yeah. Uh, and then eventually we might change it to, you know, a six bedroom. Okay. Uh, awesome. Basement. Room to grow. Yeah. All right. Let's go inside. Andrew, tell us about this foyer. This is your this is your baby. <laughs> yeah, uh, when we first got the house, the house was completely unfurnished. And we noticed that there were three stag heads uh, up in the entrance, so we had to refurnish it. So what we have done is that uh, we replaced it with something more modern without the kill. <laughs> <laughs> this is a vegan friendly entryway. All right, Robert, we are in the living room now. Yep, so this is our living room. We had to replace all the furniture here, the couches, tables. Uh, it's got a working fireplace, which is uh, on the wall there, and we replaced the TV too here. Cool, cool. Very modern feel to it. Very, yeah, and if you like mm -hmm. DVDs, we have a lot of DVDs that nobody ever watches. Anymore, <laughs> so we added them. Just for giggles. All right, well, let's go on the dining room. Uh, this is a beautiful table we replaced. Uh, the table here was only for Six people, now we have a 10 person table. We're eventually put some artwork up on the wall there and um, that will be done here. And then we have the other table in our other room here. Okay. Yeah, I like how open this is. The living, yeah, dining, a kitchen. Yeah, move around, kids mm -hmm. run around. I think the kids actually end up spending more time at the table than we do. We end up eating at the bar, the kitchen bar here, more than, uh, more than the table. One of the things you guys did great was you have enough seating for the capacity, which I see a lot of homes, they have, oh, we advertise 16, but you have this, four-man table. Yeah, definitely. You need to, you need to at least, uh, you know, have them in the vicinity to eat together. Uh, mm -hmm. not, maybe not necessarily in the same table, but... Yeah, you have it, it's, it's here if they spread on the bar and in the table. Some people can be there. We have another table. We have another table inside uh, the sunroom here, which is where the kids are playing right now. Cool. Uh, that will change probably into like a tiki bar and okay. towels for the 
you know, hot tub area. The hot tub area. Okay. Things like that. Good deal. Yeah. Uh, any changes in the kitchen or? Kitchen, uh, yeah? yeah, we had to replace all the uh, all the plates and forks and things like that. Um, it's uh, not as expensive as you think. Uh, you know, you go to like restaurant stores and things like that, and you can buy in bulk. So you yeah, get, uh, a lot. And if you're renting to 14, you probably want at least 20 or some odd dishes, so they don't have to wash the dish after every use. Yeah, yeah, that's good. This is a good setup. Very good size yeah, kitchen, yeah. living. And we're you know, getting another another coffee pot there, so they have two to go. You know, 14 people. Yeah, a lot of coffee. yeah, you're right. Yeah. So yeah, the only major change we're doing, we may keep this, but we're gonna vent this out through, you know, the vent out going outside so that yeah. uh, the airflow goes outside. Yeah. It makes it a lot better to cook. Yeah, for you that. cookers out there, that, that, that is a great idea. Yeah. We haven't decided yet where we're on a car table. The gaming there. room. But uh, you know, this is where the kids game at least. And this is the YouTube star. Yeah, this is how we uh, first met. The one we met. Say hi, Jordan. Hello. Subscribe to his channel when he's 18. Okay. <laughs> so these, these couches actually, and this table were probably the only thing besides that recliner that came with the house. Okay. Uh, we'll throw those downstairs eventually when it's done. And uh, like I said, maybe you have put a bar back here and you know, place for tables. This leads out to the deck here, uh, which will lead eventually out to the hot tub, which is gonna be out there. Awesome. Hey, so this is a one room we it was actually just a study, but we changed it into a, a bedroom for the fifth bedroom because, uh, you know. Yeah, you we know, did that on one of our houses. We need a lot of uh, yep. beds in the house and, you know, all new furniture we knew uh, through Walmart. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. uh, good good prices there. And Sounds good. Done. Got the, I uh, got the, uh, Privacy. Well, these will change too. The blinds. <laughs> blinds we ordered, but they didn't come with the rods, didn't come yet. So, we're cool. those new up there too. Uh, so, this is the master bedroom. Uh, too big for what it should be, but uh, you know, well, obviously, when you buy these houses, they make it big enough for people that want to live in here. So, it's got three closets in here. This one will be changed to a uh, master. A, um, Owner's closet. I hate bifold doors, man. I know we're changing. <laughs> I know you got to change all. The As they break, now. I want to convert them. Yeah, and then a uh, master bed, uh, bathroom, which is also extremely large. Large. We got the whirlpool there. Okay, it looks like it's in good shape. Yeah, no, it works very well. I haven't used it yet, but uh, and then there's the shower over here. Okay, good. Yeah, we have a shower like this at one of our houses too. It seemed like they love having these low cut curves and then we always get people with water you know the water yeah, comes out yeah, yeah. so so let me know if you find a good solution for this <laughs> um i was wanting to put a door I here you either, if you're not going to put a door you're going to put one with magnets on the bottom yeah because we there they, it's leaked twice yeah. <laughs> word of warning there and then here we actually uh are deciding on whether to open this up and put a door here for so oh so we, other people can use yeah, it too we only have two bathrooms two ah bathrooms. i see this bathroom might be accessible through. This is the only bathroom on the upper level. No, two. There's two bathrooms. Oh, there's here. two though. Yeah, but you but know. it's you can share it because there's yeah. how many other bedrooms up here? Yeah, one bedroom, one bathroom for two people, and then the other ten people share one bathroom. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Uh, this will be bedroom number two. We had originally uh, thought to be four beds in here or four people sleeping in here, but uh, this may change to just a two-person room, mm -hmm. and that's pretty much it. All we did here was uh, actually just the bed. What might good go, go well here is also a, a bunk bed, you know, kind of like getting the kids. Yeah, kids yeah. No, interested I have a in room it. in yeah. the back with a bunk bed for okay. the kids too, and uh, we have to decide which because you know the new regulations now. Yeah, we have to decide which bedroom we're going to have. Uh, right. Basically, the new regulations that Robert's talking about is instead of just saying, "Oh, however many beds you can." common sense think that can fit that a guest will still be happy now they're dictating what common sense is which is two per bedroom plus four which really doesn't make a lot of sense if you look at my ordinance video up here because you might have three or four living areas and game rooms and family rooms that you could you know very comfortably fit more people so sometimes it's plus four for a smaller house or plus eight for a bigger house but I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Uh, so this is bedroom number three. Uh, again, one queen size bed and then uh, two fulls. Uh, and we have to decide again whether we're going to move these out or the other room. So one yeah. of the two rooms will not have two beds in here mm -hmm. uh, and sleep. And then if this one doesn't have it, it's got a lot of room if you want to put it aside. Now, how do you guys feel about queen versus king beds? Because if you're not going to have so many beds here, you can kind of have yeah. that option to go wider. Yeah, I think, uh, well, right now we do have two kings, a California king and a, and a, oh, wow. and okay. a regular king in two bedrooms. 
Uh, I think the queen size is enough for us. For yeah, I bought them. Yeah, because you already have them, right? <laughs> yeah. I've had some short-term rental owners tell me that you don't want kings because you're going to attract people who come from kings and that type of thing. I'm still on the fence with it. I like to have at least one king, yeah, at least. Yeah, have one. Uh, but let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think. If you have any experience or research that shows differently, you know, is there any advantage to having kings? I love queens because generally the cost for the sheets and everything is usually less. Yeah, definitely. Much, yeah. And, you can, and you can find them all more. They're more easily, easily yeah, accessible. yeah, easily yeah, accessible. So cool, all right, this is bedroom three. So this is bedroom five. We uh, thought of this one to be a kid's bedroom. Uh, we have the bunk bed here, which fits two on the bottom, one on top, and then we have a small bed, which we, uh, you know, we'll keep as a twin. And then, you know, eventually here, we're, we're changing the TVs in every room also, which you didn't see. Yeah, that will, so that you're gonna hang cool. TVs on every room, you know, smart TVs. TVs. Yeah, smart TVs, definitely. Good, good. The walls, you don't really have to paint them. They, no, they look pretty, pretty good shape. Pretty good shape. Uh, everything in this house was in good shape yeah. except for the, the furniture. furniture. Yeah. yeah the furniture. Well, I like the fact that you do have a bunk bed because what we're finding out is that, just like I said, every house should have at least one king. Every house should have at least bunk bed because some kids are just go crazy about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They're like, hey, I can't wait to sleep in the bunk bed like we found out with our friends this weekend. And then kids also, when you have a bunk bed, they want to, they kind of gravitate together to sleep in that one room. Yeah. And the parents are freed up too. Yeah. That's good. This could be like the kid room or something. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's go downstairs. Like, yeah. Is this, this what you the, call the silver room? The yeah. silver room? <laughs> right now it is. <laughs> this is the biggest project that we have in the house uh, because it's uncompleted. We have to, we have the sheetrock, everything, the ceilings, the walls. You know, you got to put electrical outlets every six feet. Um, wow. You know, yeah, this is a project. In the, in the thing. Yep. So this is, a, this is a project we took on. But, you know, to separate ourselves from other houses, we thought we'd have a huge game room. You know, we're gonna have a pool table on that side. This will be a probably a 65 inch TV or something like that mm -hmm, here, mm -hmm. with some couches, bar area back here, and then uh, either foosball, ping pong tables back there. And then we're gonna have a, you know, maybe a 30 foot high, you know, 30 inch high, excuse me. Like a little wet bar? Wet, no, bar coming some out. Bar around, top? You know, okay. bar top around, and then we'll have a bar on that side. Yeah, I think uh, we were talking yesterday how the game room idea is awesome. And that's sometimes the draw to a house. Like they'll book you just because your oh, game yeah. room rocks. Yeah, listen, you gotta have something for people to do when either the weather's bad or it's too late at night for them to go to the lake or do, do other mm -hmm. things. You know, you got 14 people and in this house, they're gonna wanna do something besides hang out at the uh, dining room table and eat, you know? What I found is that some people just wanna go to a place and not go anywhere. Yeah. No yeah, matter how yeah, nice yeah, the weather is, just yeah, want to veg out and relax. Definitely. Well, we definitely have yeah. enough room, hopefully, for that many people to do that. And then there's a huge outside. Uh, we, we're, on a, we're on a full acre here, which is lucky. Mm -hmm. And about a quarter of the acre is all free uh, free land there. Yeah. Open. Yeah. They can even turn this into like a uh, ninja ninja warrior course or something. <laughs> Maybe. You got the padding already. Yeah, before, before we do it, <laughs> I, mean, I should sell it out to somebody to, you know, change it out. Who wants to do ninja warrior? <laughs> Oh, wow, this is really good, like a blank canvas. So when do you expect this to be done? Uh, this will be done probably within three weeks to a month. Okay, yeah. and you got the contractor lined up? We have them lined up, but uh, you know, again, with contractors, you gotta understand they, they all say they're gonna be here. And then, yeah. You know, depending on the size of your job, they don't wanna come until they wanna come, so. Now you said you might add a bed bedroom and maybe a full yeah. bath. So Can you show we, us where that's gonna be? In the future, if we decide to do it, uh, yeah. because the sewage lines or not sewage line, but the line to the septic is right here. Okay. It would be ideal for this to be the bathroom with the door opening here and then the door opening on this side. Big bathroom. The bedroom here. Okay, and a bedroom there, yeah. potentially. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. Very cool. And then that, that adds us another uh, two, two people, right? I guess. Love it. All right, so this is the other major uh, uh, thing that we're doing. Uh, every house that you want to rent out needs a hot tub and a pool table. So this is where we're going to put the hot tub. It's going to be on a 10 by 10 or 10 by 12 slab going out this way. And then uh, we may actually even cover it. Uh, we haven't decided that yet. Uh, nice fancy lights. Yeah, <laughs> nice the, fancy lights. The trendy lights that everyone's using these days yeah, for right. hot the, tubs. Yeah, the ones that are all multicolored and you yeah. can flash. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, this so, will be great. Yeah, this yeah. is going to be the hot Good tub location. Because yeah. yeah. right around the corner from the deck. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so you walk down and, you know, even during the winter, if it's, uh, you know, snow plow, you can do a little path here and go right into the hot tub. Nice.
All right, Robert, that was an awesome tour of the house. Thank you. It looks like a real fun place, especially the game room. I'm excited to see how that turns out. Definitely. Uh, but I want to talk numbers now. I think a lot of people on my channel, uh, they're not just interested in the Poconos as a place to vacation, but also as an investment. Definitely. Can you tell us a little bit about, you know, what did you get for the house? What did you get for the house? So originally the house, uh, we, we paid 375 for it. Okay. And that included the, you know, other half acre on the other side. Oh, that included the uh, extra lot there you told yeah, me about the other day. Lot, you could build on, but. Uh, okay. For a typical investor, putting down 25%, uh, that would be about eighty to hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. And uh, how much money do you anticipate putting into the house to get it ready? So you know, for everything that we have and, and have to done, <clears throat> it's probably another uh, forty or fifty grand at least. Okay. Maybe a little more because of the uh, the hot tub and, and things like that. So okay. It's a minimum of, of that. Okay. So we'll say one fifty to yeah. round round kind of round up. Uh, one fifty to put in to the investment. Uh, now again, this is a 25% down. This is not like a 3% FHA loan or anything like that. When you're buying an investment home, you have to put down at least 25%. And as uh, Robert experienced, sometimes when your <laughs> lender messes up or uh, you're in a tough environment where you're trying to buy a home and everyone else is yeah. bidding all cash and you need to give the confidence to that seller to pick your offer over like the umpteen others, you have to go all cash and then refinance it later on yeah. just so you can uh, you know, continue to leverage your money. <coughs> so we're gonna assume 25% down, which would be eight, about $100,000 yeah. plus the $50,000 of renovation, uh, 375. Now this house today, what do you think it'd be worth now? Uh, the market's gone uh, up look, crazy, uh, right? Yeah, it's probably, there's, they're saying it's probably worth about 426. Okay, so about 50,000 in equity yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, nice. And then um, what do you anticipate for uh, rental amounts? Like how much do you think you'll make a gross on a house like uh, this? What, what I'd like to make and what I think we're making is two different things. But uh, uh -huh. what, what I uh, think we're going to make probably is anywhere from 80 to 100 grand after uh, net everything. Okay. And that's with a five bedroom, yeah. 14 person capacity, yeah. about 100,000. Yeah, I was basing it on uh, maybe 40 rentals a weekend. Uh, okay, and that's conservative at, too, at, which is great at because- $1,000 a night, yeah. so it's, it's roughly about you know, 80 to 100 grand, Okay, I would say. that, And that's just being conservative. Okay. You never know, I mean, and I don't know when I'm gonna get it up and running, uh, hopefully by August because that's what we're planning for, but you know, the ski season and everything like mm -hmm. that, but um, mm -hmm. you never know. So you have to take those into account too, but you're in it long term and mm -hmm. once you start making the money, and, and get books, bookings and uh, people referrals and things like that, then it will be much easier and you'll be able to up the estimates. Yeah, it's good to start conservative in the beginning. Yeah. Um, and then for expenses, now on my house for the first year numbers, uh, I actually estimated about, or well, the real numbers came out to, for every $3 we made, yeah. we kept one. Yeah, probably something like that. Are you similar to that? Yeah, I would say, you know, I, I am, I'm estimating maybe out of the, let's say I made $80,000, uh, uh, 30, 30 to 30, 30 to 35,000 in expenses. Okay. Um, and that's based on your mortgage. And also uh, for, and for the hundred thousand that you make, you're estimating about one out of every $3 being an expense, not profit. Yes. Okay. So that's yes. going to be about better numbers than me. No, about the same. Cause one. mine was one dollar out of every $3 of profit, not expense. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's, that's what you yeah. But I yeah. do, I, I agree with what you're saying because a lot of the work you are doing yourself, yeah. like we're paying people yeah. to do guest coordination. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, we're, we have a lot of fat in our well, budget. Yeah, you have a lot yeah. of houses too. So yeah. that, that requires more work. You know, we're, we will run the house. You're self-managing yeah, it, which was what we did the first year too. So you, definitely, you know, save too. definitely yeah. saves you some money. Yeah. So if we took the middle of the road yep. and said, instead of one out of every three being profit, which is my estimate, or two out of three dollars, two out of every three dollars being profit yeah. for your estimate. We took the middle of the road and said 50%. That would mean about $50,000 net every year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you would make back your original investment in three years, Definitely. assuming a 25% down payment. Yeah. And not to include the 50% of, or 50,000 equity that you gain just through this appreciating market. Yeah. So that's and a pretty good, darn good investment. It's also as if you got to think about it as, uh, as a savings account for yourself. Mm -hmm. Because eventually if you go to sell the house, you've saved up this you know big accumulation of money. So if I sold it at 375 even in 10 years, that's all profit there. That's yeah. Only, as opposed to me putting only 10% down or 25% down, then you know over the years you you accumulate more and more even though that's considered an expense for you, you know? Yeah. It's an expense now, but later on you cash out on it. 
So Robert, I think those are great numbers. Uh, and I know you guys have uh, another house in Vermont, right? How does yeah. it compare with Vermont, uh, vacation rentals in Ver Vermont? Uh, Vermont's actually more of a, uh, although with COVID it's changed, but uh, Vermont is really more of a seasonal uh, rental. Mm -hmm. And we, we got that because you know, our families love to ski and we, we would always go up to, you know, different mountains and, you know, spend uh, absorbent amounts of money on uh, renting a house. And we figured, hey, why not buy a house and, and, and make it profitable for us? So, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's definitely a much smaller house than this. And, you know, we, we this house definitely is more for renting to, you know, make money than than, than the other one, which is for- uh, Just personal house. usage. Yeah, yeah. we use this during the weekdays and, right. and <laughs> yeah. make, sure that, make sure that people are rented here. Yeah, so it's one of those markets where it's better for personal yeah. use yeah. and to kind of help pay it down and pay yeah, it off, definitely. right, over yeah. time. It's, uh, Whereas this one's more profitable, this is right? Definitely more profitable. Cash flowing. Yeah, really cool, really cool. Now, um, here's the most important question. What are you gonna name this house? Uh, we haven't come up with a name. We haven't come up with a name yet, right? People all uh, come up with a great name, or yeah, comment below. Let us know. We Let know, us know. Right? We're, we're, we're um, thinking about it. And, and money pit is not one of the options. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I call it now. Yeah, right now it's the money pit. Let's get it. We're gonna readopt another name. Uh, but you know, you've seen the character of the house and where it's at. So if you have any suggestions, comment below. And I uh, just want to close the video with uh, the beauty of short-term rental is not just the cash flow, but it's also the network you build. And uh, it's awesome having met you, Robert, Definitely, and yes. your whole family. Uh, and you know, we're, we share contacts, we share vendors, we share experiences, um, and that's what's really neat. And the way we do that too is, you know, we just join lots of Facebook community groups and uh, just start building your network. And I've, I've learned that the short-term rental community is, is everyone wants to help each other. Uh, so again, if you want to get started in short-term rental investing, in the Poconos or anywhere else, drop a comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe. This is your favorite homeboy, signing out. Salt, salt bay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, give me, free me, free me. Salt bay. You gotta take this shirt off. Wait a second. I'm a kid for the channel. That's a good tip. Good tip. <laughs> that is really good. Mom, can I get one? That is the no uh, sauce. No, no sauce. No, it's no, the trigger. Are you still on? Yeah, but how did you see the Please, trigger girl.